So I was looking through my old videos the other day and I realized I've been doing this YouTube thing now for going on 10 years. And well, let's just say through that time, my video production quality has somewhat improved. <laughs> and it's thanks in no small part to you guys who've enabled me to purchase the things that I have today to allow me to make the videos that I do. And so I wanted to invite you into my little studio here in Taipei for a small tour of all the things that I use to make my videos. And so if you're a aspiring content creator or maybe you're just curious how I make those sexy ship shots, you'll be able to find out today in my architect reviews his own little apartment. <laughs> and if you like the video by the end, you know what to do. So one of the things you might be surprised by is that architects don't always get to live in the beautiful buildings they design, and I'm no exception. But my modest 500 square foot apartment in Taipei is in a great location and is big enough for what I need, and so I'm pretty happy with it. I recently replaced my table with this awesome setup which I'll go over later, but first I want to show you guys where I plant my butt. I use the Blackbird chair from Monster Tech. It was sent over to me last year as a prototype and I've loved using it ever since. I've got my VKBs mounted to its proprietary swivel mount system, which allows me to get the sticks out of the way whenever I want to work on things other than Star Citizen, like making videos or just using AutoCAD. It's really convenient and I definitely recommend this kind of setup if you're going to be going with a dual stick setup. For my dual stick setup, I originally purchased a set of VKB Gladiators, but this year VKB generously sent over a set of their newer Evo line, which I've been really enjoying. They also sent one of their little accessory button packs, which I've found great use in Star Citizen with. I bound a bunch of functionality in the game for it, and I can highly recommend it. The movement and feel the quality is fantastic, and it's how I get the shots that I do in Star Citizen, where I'm smoothly panning around ships in space. I also have a black hog button panel to the right of my right stick, which has had some quality issues, but I still have found it to be quite useful. Moving over to my table, there's a lot of stuff to go over, but I'm going to first talk about one of the things that I recently purchased that I really love, and that's this Rodecaster Pro 2. It's replaced an uh, analog mixer and a bunch of outboard sound cards for me so that I could simplify my setup. Instead of having a bunch of analog cables going to two computers, I now have just two USB cables going to both my streaming PC and my recording PC, which has just incredibly simplified everything and made it sound even better. Hooked up to it is an SM7B from Shure. I use this mic when I'm streaming. It's a great dynamic microphone that picks up just what's in front of it, which is perfect for live streaming. But when I want to do some recording for a video, I use this AKG C214 condenser microphone, which is what you're hearing right now while I record this video. It does a much better job of picking up the high and low frequencies of my voice and just sounds a bit more natural, and this is true in general for condenser mics. Their only downside is that they pick up a lot of background noise, which is why they're not suited for live streaming. And both of them are mounted to my desk using the Rode NT1, which is great to get them out of the way when I'm not using them. For monitoring, I use this set of Harman Kardon sound sticks. They're older, but tried and true. They work great, and I love them. For when I'm recording though, or for when I want to listen to playback more closely, I use a set of Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. They're a bit older as you can see from the wear, but they're workhorses and have served me faithfully for the past at least six years. Their closed back design helps prevent audio feedback from getting into my recordings with my condenser. And the fabric cushions are also really comfortable and replaceable when they get old. These are actually my second set. Next to the Roadcaster, I have this fancy little thing. This is a DaVinci Resolve speed editor I got to use with DaVinci Resolve, which is a video editing software similar to Premiere, but a lot better. I just made the switch and I gotta say, I don't regret it. I don't think I'm ever going back. It's so much smoother. You might have also noticed I have an Xbox remote on my desk. This is my secret weapon for recording smooth shots in first person in Star Citizen, so if you've not got one of these, I highly recommend it. I've used it for pretty much all of the smooth detailing shots you've seen in my videos for an architect reviews. For my mouse, it's nothing fancy, just a standard basilisk from Razer. It's not the best quality mouse in the world, but it works. This wireless Logitech G913 keyboard though is a hard recommend. It's got a very smooth vertical motion with the buttons and they're silent from when I'm recording, unlike this loud mechanical keyboard from Razer which drove both me and my girlfriend crazy. 
For when I'm streaming, I use this stream deck with a bunch of hotkeys to switch between scenes. You've probably seen this a million times before. This is an older one. I've also got this iPad here for playing music through my roadcaster when I'm streaming, but I also use it for markups at work and for other consultancy jobs. For my screen, I'm using an LG UltraGear 38-inch GN950 Nano IPS monitor with a one millisecond response time. It has a resolution of 3840 by 1600, which is nearly 4K and has a refresh rate, I believe, of around 144 hertz. And I've got it mounted to this VESA mount capable Raymi swivel mount, which allows me to reposition it anywhere I like and to free up the space beneath my desk, as opposed to having a traditional stand, which would not allow me to put my roadcaster or other things below it. Directly attached to my monitor is my Toby Eye Tracker 5, which allows me to basically turn my head in Star Citizen while I'm flying ships, and it's super useful in combat, so definitely recommend on this one as well. For lighting, I use an LED diffuser light, which allows me to change the temperature and brightness. It's a very large diffuser and portable, which makes it easy to bring to events. But the important thing is that because it's so big, it doesn't hurt my eyes, which I really like. And something I'm really happy about is this new adjustable desk I just got. It's from a local company in Taiwan. It's 20 centimeters longer than my old desk, but the coolest thing about it is that I can now use it to stand up and record videos. I find that standing and recording helps me think better and, and speak more smoothly, but also standing up once in a while is good for your health if you're the kind of person that sits down at a desk all day. But of course, no good setup is complete without a decent PC, and here I didn't cut many corners. In order to achieve maximum frames in Star Citizen, I got myself a new AMD 7900X processor, which I plan to upgrade to the new X3D next year, 64 gigabytes of 6000 megatransfer per second memory, rounded off with an Asus Tough RTX 4090. And all of this is mounted to a Asus Crosshair X670E motherboard. And yeah, that's my logo on the CPU cooler. Isn't that cool? And as good as this PC is, I actually use a second PC for doing streaming because it just makes the process a little bit smoother. It's an older PC, it's a 7820X with a 2080 Ti in it, but it gets the job done and actually can run Star Citizen decently well itself if I need a second PC for recording. Finally, I wanted to let you know how genuinely thankful I am for your support. Without you, I wouldn't be able to make the videos that I do. It's really amazing that I'm here after nearly 10 years still making videos thanks to you watching and subscribing or whatever it is that you decide to do and how you decide to support me, just being here has meant the world. And so I wanted to wish you a very happy holiday season and a happy new year. And I'll see you guys in 2023 my setup to show you guys how I make the videos that I do, how I get those sexy ship shops. And so if you're looking to it's about how I get those sexy ship shops, those sexy ship shots, how I get those sexy shit. <laughs> so if you're curious how I get those sexy ship shots, then this is going to be the video for you.